top five reasons why you should jailbreak and top five reasons why you shouldn't jailbreak. The iPhone on the left is a non-jailbroken device, iPhone 10, and the one on the right is a jailbroken iPhone 10. This is the iPhone that you guys know and love. Let's start off with why you should jailbreak first. So I'm gonna give you guys five reasons why you should jailbreak. <laughs> Okay, man, just being myself, man, just being myself. Reason number one, you can customize your device the way how you want it. It's your iPhone or your iDevice. You should be able to set it the way how you want. So you guys can see I got rid of the status bar, got rid of the icon labels on the bottom, the dock, I got rid of the background. It just looks so much better and it just fits my personality better compared to a non-jailbroken iPhone. I'm not even going to mess with this. Let me, all right, let me just put it back. You know, and that's one of the main reasons why we jailbreak because we could be able to just show our personality, you know what I mean, with a jailbreak. So this is the theme that I'm like. I'm aiming for that simplicity look, get rid of everything. And yeah, I'll even show you guys my lock screen. So I got rid of the, all right, let me clear that. Get rid of the date and time. You guys can see I don't even have to swipe up. So just customizing my device is just the number one reasons why we all jailbreak. Look how neat and simple that looks. I could even have a custom text. So what's the passcode, bitch? So I could even customize my boot logo. So you guys can see the Apple logo just glitching around. Why wait for Apple to change up the icons when you can do it right now with the jailbreak? So you guys can see this is a um, theme called Lotus. And it looks beautiful. It looks, um, it looks good. I mean, it matches the wallpaper really well. And I mean, come on, we had this since iOS 7. And, you know, being able to have a nice little refresh the way how you want it at any time is a win. You can remove the annoying iOS features, so low power mode pop-up, you can disable that if you like. Now, number two, supercharge your applications. I mean, from Instagram++, plus plus, Snapchat++, plus plus, WhatsApp++. Plus plus. Um, I even have a tweet called YouTube Tools, so I like to have the play in background without paying YouTube um, premium. You know, um, you can disable ads if you want. Um, I really recommend you guys don't do that. YouTubers out there, they grind their ass off to give you guys these videos. And, you know, the least you could do is just watch the ads. I feel like disabling the ads is like spitting, spitting on their faces. Like, you know, we bust our ads for these videos and you guys just disable the ads. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like that's disrespectful. So I always like to respect my fellow creators out there. Just supercharge your applications. I think that's a staple thing. Number three, functionality. I mean, jailbreaking, it just increased the functionality of your device. Just go out and beyond. I mean, double tap the battery indicator to enable low power mode. Be able to have the battery percentage there, as you guys can see on the iPhone 10. And even be able to have a face cam. So if you're playing a like game or something or you want to react to a meme, you have your face cam right there. So, you know, functionality wise, this thing can really increase functionality. And productivity too. I'm gonna to talk about that too in a little bit. So yeah, so this is very very cool. Saves battery life and really be able to enable your flashlight by flipping your mute switch up, and you can put it down to disable it. So as you guys can see, and once you find the right amount of tweaks that fits your needs, you un you untouchable. Nobody can't touch you. And really, you can even bring iOS 12 features on older firmware. So this is Stack 11. It just brings the group notifications to um, iOS 11. So right now, I have a current tweak right now. Tweaks of the week is currently in the works. So yeah, stay tuned for that. This is a tweak called Prediction Shortcut. So as you guys can see, instead of me reaching my finger all the way to the top there, you have your options here. So I can select all. I can cut it. I can paste it. You could be able to download PDFs with no problems. So normally on iOS, it's a little bit of a hassle to download PDFs. So um, with this, you could just download it. This is a tweak called Safari Plus. And you could go into your downloads folder. And you can download it right there on the fly. Now, normally on iOS, you got to save it to iCloud, iCloud Drive. It's a little bit of weird stuff. but um, And this leads me to the next thing. Just be able to have a dedicated file manager. So um, this is FileZilla or FileZilla. Um, and you can get to your downloads folder right there. So all my downloads, so you can download music, videos, anything you want, you can download it. If it has the download button. So this is Safari Plus, and that definitely does increase your um, productivity. I can view the PDF with no problem. 
I can share it. I can airdrop it. I can do whatever I like to do. And man, it's probably some tweaks I probably don't even know about too to increase your productivity even more. And last but not least, the fifth and final reason why you should jailbreak actually your device increase in value. So right now, if you want to sell a jailbroken iPhone, <laughs> people are wilding with the prices because right now the jailbreak is so rare. Right now, the latest version of iOS, you can't jailbreak. So look at this iPhone 6S running iOS 9 jailbreak, $2,000. And iOS 9 was probably one of my favorite jailbreaks. Um, so 128 gigabytes, iPhone 6S, $2,000. iPhone 10 jailbroken. Look at these prices. I mean, if you have a jailbroken device laying around and you want to sell it, you're going to definitely bank out. <laughs> you're going to definitely get that coin. And it's just really, it's just so rare. Like these jailbreaks, they come and go. Apple is very, very quick when it comes down to patching up these um, exploits with the jailbreak. So, you know, it, it's very, very, it's very, very, you know, that small window of jailbreaking. So that's why when I jailbreak, I jailbreak as soon as possible. And that goes with the iPod and that goes with the iPad too. Um, so yeah, jailbreaking is really no joke, guys. But all in all, to wrap this up, you're basically a pioneer trying out new features because Apple takes from the jailbreak all the time. I mean, look at iOS 9, I think, where they took um, F.Lux. They just copied and pasted that into iOS. Um, so you're a pioneer trying out new features, and you're really giving Apple the middle finger, but it's for a good cause, you know what I mean? We are beta testers. We're testing out possibly new features for iOS. So I will always have a jailbroken device just to test out those new features. And yeah, I mean jailbreak for life you can't even take this to the apple store and get a service but i'm gonna talk more about that next on the reasons why you shouldn't jailbreak now top five reasons why you shouldn't jailbreak now reason number one it will avoid your warranty now there's a workaround around this if you have any problems with your jailbroken device all you gotta do is just restore it take it to apple and apple is going to take care of it quick little story um there was something on my ipad 2 back in the days this was running ios 6 and of course I was jailbroken. I restored it, took it to Apple. They gave me a fresh new iPad too. The con with that um, obviously is on the latest version of iOS 6. So yeah, that was the only problem, but hey, I got a new iPad. So yeah, I mean, void your warranty, but temporarily until you restore your device. Number two, instability. So now everything is so fluid. This is normal iOS. Apple took the time out to squash as many bugs as they can, even though iOS 11 is pretty glitchy, pretty buggy. But, you know, Apple, you guys already know Apple is Apple, and everything's just moving so smooth, fluent. When you jailbreak, not only on the oldest version of iOS, if you install pirated tweaks from pirated sources, um, some, some sources may inject some kind of malware or spyware to really... Um, see what's on your device or not. So yeah, so just be careful when you download and tweaks. Download it from the official source. Pay the money. Don't pirate, and you'll be okay. But yeah, security. When you're on stock iOS, you have nothing to worry about with security. Obviously, be careful when you're shopping online. And I guess you may as well make those two together: instability and security. Pretty much same thing. So I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that all in all in one. Number three, battery life issues due to tweaks. Now, not all tweaks are going to drain your battery life, but there's certain tweaks out there like moving backgrounds and when your screen is off, you might still have a moving background. And, you know, tweaks like those are going to either heat up your device, it's going to drain your battery's health and drain your battery life. So, you know, um, with base iOS, you're going to have the best battery life possible. You know, I know sometimes the battery life is shaky on iOS, even though on the jailbreak side, you can install some tweaks like Eclipse, real low power mode, have a, um, a all black background. Because you, if you have an all black background, it'll save battery life too as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to defend Apple here, man. But <laughs> it's hard, man. The reason why you shouldn't jailbreak, if you want the latest iOS features, like iOS 12 is coming out next week. If you're jailbroken, you're just stuck on the old firmware. Um, so really you're just stuck on the current iOS firmware, but on stock iOS, you could just update. It doesn't really matter to you guys because you guys, you guys are not jailbreaking. So, but if you want to be on a jailbreakable firmware, you got to stay on the oldest firmware as possible. So you're missing out on features, emojis, and really to add on to this too, iOS updates make 
jailbreaking less appealing. So normally Apple steals from the jailbreak, man. Like they stole that F dot Lux and it turned it into night shift. They steal features all the time. And you know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, look, if I go into my settings and I go into the control center, um, where's control center? Just had it. Okay. You can customize con the controls. I mean, come on. You know, just be able to have a screen recorder. We've been had that for years. It's, there's no reason for you to jailbreak if they have that feature already. Now, another thing too, you don't have to worry about jailbreak detection. Now, jailbreak detection, like if I try to launch Fortnite on my jailbroken iPhone, you can't open it up. It's going to crash. Um, but with stock iOS, you have nothing to worry about. All the apps will work nine times out of ten unless the developers have to, you know, update their app and make it work but for the most part stock ios you don't have to do anything just download it open it up and play it so now adding the bonus losing your jailbreak and getting back into stock ios is like a slap in the face so you have your tweak set up everything is set up so you went from all the tweaks that you know and love everything is set up and you went to something like this that's a slap in the face and sometimes it's hard to wait for a jailbreak too like you sometimes you have to wait a whole year for a new jailbreak and Apple's moving so fast with the updates, that's why it's so important to stay on the oldest firmware. So, but all in all, guys, Steve Jobs, he believed in a closed ecosystem. He want everybody's iPhones to look the same. You know, everything is controllable by Apple. He wanted that. And you, you're basically, you're going against that. Like, Apple designed everything here from the ground up. Once you jailbreak it, you're just going against that. You, you're just, I don't know, you're stepping all over it, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, whatever side you on, it's your iPhone. You do whatever you want with it. Open it up. Make the Apple logo glow in the dark if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. If you watch it all the way through, just comment down below space gray. Because I really do love this space gray color compared to the silver. That's just my opinion. I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I mean, which color do you like the best? And other than that, it's your boy Pops. And I catch you guys on my next video. Later.